Hello, everyone, and welcome to Afternoon Live. I'm Kara Mack. We've got a great show for you today. You know, we've all heard the saying, age is just a number, and our first guest would agree. He believes we can turn back the clock and feel 10 years younger despite our actual age. We welcome the author of What's Your Number? Dr. Francis Palmer is with us today. Dr. Palmer, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, describe to everyone what the difference is between chronological age and biological age. Uh, chronological age is basically how old you are. You take today's date, subtract your birth date, that's it. Your biological age, however, is how old it, your body acts. And I don't mean uh, behavior-wise. It's the cellular uh, level that your body's biological functions are acting. I like that you said behavior-wise, because we have a bunch of toys in our studio today, so we've all been acting well, very young. Well, you know, it's young. one time you want to be living. immature. Usually they tell you don't be <laughs> immature, but here you do want to be immature. Exactly. Okay, so I would think that the biological age is the one that's more important. Well, I think that's the one that most people look at, right? And, and we hear 60 is the new 40, but what does that mean? Well, what that means is a 60-year-old chronologically has a biological age that's 40. And I think that's kind of what everybody's looking to have. Now, how do you actually determine biological age? Yeah, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. There's blood tests that you can do. One of the simplest is the saliva test. You can order, uh, you know, put some saliva on a card, send it away, and they'll look at the DNA methylation patterns and research say that's a good way, a good indication of your biological age. But will that actually determine whether or not you'll have illness in the future? I mean, what does that actually determine? Yeah, and, you know, not, not quite. Though I think people would assume that if you're 60 and you have a biological age of 40, that is a reflection of more uh, positive biological processes, in, including age-related uh, ones. Um, there are ways that you can look at your DNA to, but you're looking at more tests of your DNA to see if you're susceptible to certain types of diseases. That's not what this is. This is sort of an outward reflection of kind of what's going on inside. What actually causes cells to age faster? I feel like we always hear contradictory things as far as a glass of wine is good. No, never mind. Yeah. Alcohol ages you. Yeah, and it's so because you can imagine it's fairly complex. The body's complex. And I think, make it simple, there's three main categories. One is genetic, one is environmental, and one is biological. Genetic is your DNA. It's a blueprint that says this is what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. And if that's all there was, we wouldn't have anything more to say. But it can be impacted by the latter two. Biological is do you have acute or chronic disease? Do you have enough of the key metabolites? Like one of the things we're gonna talk about is calcium AKG is a key metabolite for every uh, cell in the body to produce energy. And if you have less of those key metabolites, that's gonna be a problem. And then the last one that most of us know is lifestyle. It's environmental. Do you smoke? Do you drink too much? Do you have a sedentary lifestyle? Do you do things that you know are, are not good for you that will put your, uh, your cells in jeopardy and then have a, uh, an older biological age? You hear about walking being one of the best things you can do. Would you agree? Yeah, I think walking's phenomenal. And I tell people, you know, if you're able to, and it doesn't matter, like I said, it's rainy there and it's probably not a great day to go out and walk, but if there are places inside that you can, one of the best things people can do is do walking, and it doesn't need to be power walking, walking for about 30 minutes a day or however many days you can do it in a row. And just like things spiral downward when we don't have good lifestyle choices, they spiral upward when we do. So I think it's a, that's a no-brainer for me. But talk about this calcium you were mentioning. It's something that depletes more in your body after just even the age of 40. Yeah, so... It, it's a key metabolite for, like I said, for every cell in your body to produce energy and your body makes it. So you can't get it from food and you can't get it from diet. And between 40 and 80, it, the amount can decrease by tenfold. So that not 10%, but 10 times. And so there's some supplements and two, 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 two papers were just recently published that I think put a good uh, perspective to this. You know, one, and they're both in the Journal of Aging. One was a lot of lifestyle changes that we talked about. So people had to exercise a certain amount. They had to reduce stress. They couldn't smoke. 
they had to eat certain diet, they had to take uh, supplements and probiotics, and after a full year, the biological age dropped by two years. Mm. By two years. This other one years. was this calcium AKG, which directly was targeted to make sure you have a, a high enough levels of AKG for your cells to produce the energy. They took it for seven months, they didn't make any lifestyle changes, and their biological age reduced almost a decade. Oh, wait, so, okay, I'll take the decade over two years. I was say, you buy well, two years and of your so life, and that's good, but a decade. It's not to take one over the other. It's, of course, you want to do everything, right? So, you, so do the positive lifestyle changes, but if you do take a biological age test, a saliva test, and it shows that you have a biological age that's older than your chronological age, and significantly so, then you may want to try something like this calcium AKG, which is a special supplement from Rejuvent, R-E-J-U-V-A-N-T dot com. And why? Because if you're really depleted in it, you're not going to get it any other way. And so you need to try to get it that way. Fascinating stuff. Dr. Palmer, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yes, we're going to have more information about Dr. Palmer and his book right there, What's Your Number? It will all be on our website at katu.com. But stay right there. Afternoon Live. We'll be right back.